All right, we're going to do the tutorial real quick just to, you know, touch ourselves up a little bit. Can I bring these up the stairs? Can I bring some crates up the stairs? I'm lifting with my back. Don't worry about me. I'm lifting with my back. No, no, you're coming up the stairs with me. I have a bit. No, come on. I'm going to bring you all the way up the stairs. Come on, you're coming with me, Mr. Box. Yep. It's a great crate. I'm telling you, dude. This is an, ama this is a, 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 an amazing effort. A Sisyphean task. Lift with your knees. Only lift with your back. Only lift all back. Don't lift with your knees. That's pussy shit. You want strong back, right? You want that fallout perk, right? You gotta lift with your back. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Lift, lift with your back. Lift with the whole back, OC. Come on. Lift with your back. Do it. Put that whole back into it. Come on. Put your whole back into it. Put your whole pussy into it. Put your whole back into it. Come on. I brought you up so many stairs earlier. What's my strength stat at? How do I check my stats? What's my signal stat at right now? How do I check my signal stat? Come on. Up, up the stairs. Come on. I believe. I believe in you. I believe in you. Yep. Just a couple more. Just a few more. Just take that next step, you know. Take that next... No, no, no. Come on. Up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Hold back. Put your whole back into it. Object is too heavy to hold. Why? Put your whole back into it. You know, do some lifting jumps. You know what people who move furniture professionally often say? Put your you know, put your whole back into it and lift. And do your lifting jumps. Okay, I kind of got a rhythm to this now. You drop it. And then you bring it up. Then you drop it. And you bring it up. Okay. You got like a limited amount. It's like a limited stamina kind of thing when you're when you're pulling big objects. Come on, bring the whole fucking thing. Put your whole pussy into it. Come on, Brendan! Feel those hammies. Feel those tight hammies. No, no, you can't be stuck now. There we go, see? Put your whole hammy into it. Put your whole hammy into it. Pretend you're a pickup truck. Put your whole hammy into it. Put your whole patussy into it. There we go, we're getting there. The whole patussy into it. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. No, don't fall all the way down the stairs. This is like a solo moving a couch. I don't need friends. I don't need a friend with a pickup truck. I got me. I don't need a friend with a pickup truck. I got me. Lift with your balls. Make your balls a Newton's cradle. Think of the equilibrium. Think of the movie Equilibrium. Come on, bitch. No, don't get fucking stuck like this. Don't do this to me. There we go. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. You see how that was? You see how easy that was? I fucking did it, babe. I fucking did it. I'm so hernia core, yeah. Well, you know, uh, some of those babies, they got their fucking lifting harness. I don't need that shit. What am I gonna do with a lifting harness, huh? Oh, it's an- it's a, you know what's fucked up? It's the exact same height, so do I go and grab the other two boxes then? If I could... Oh my god, I can't even flip the bitch? They need to put weights in this game so I can work out my fucking strength. I'm far too weak right now. Character is far too fucking weak. Maybe if I stack the gas cans, would that be high enough? Maybe if I make a little gas can home? A little diesel home? A little fuel for me, a little fuel for you, you know? Maybe if I jump on the gas. Make a make a little gas gaseous tower, you know. No, you can't jump on the gasoline. Damn it. There must be other objects downstairs you can use. Uh maybe. Let's figure that out. Ow, my fucking legs. Ow, my fucking head. Um maybe this? I can totally jump on this, right? Gotta be able to jump. This is way easier. Why didn't I think of the smaller crate? Because I could just pick this son of a bitch up easy. Why didn't I think of this? Oh no, I can't jump on that, can I? You just fall through it, don't you? You can double press spacebar to vault? Oh, really? Is it, is it just that easy? Is it really just that- could it possibly just be that easy? It's just that easy. I did all that fucking work. I made that whole- I made that fat, wet mess. And it was just that easy as a du it was just double the space bar. I did all that- I brought all this shit up here. I made a fucking mess. It's just that easy, Brendan. OH SHIT! <laughs> all the right peels in all the right places. And here we're going to- all the right bills and all the right places. Here we go down. Everybody knows, everybody knows where we're going. Here we're going down. Did I go the wrong way? No, this feels right. I'm gonna go with my gut. This feels right. Follow the path. Believe in yourself. Follow the path. Oh, not my, not mug. 
hell be mug. Ew, get it the fuck out of here. It's wug. That's how I feel about that. No, I just hate mug. I don't care that mug is like a vine sauce Joel bit. I just hate mug. I, I hate it. Mug, mug references are fine. Like, it's, I know it's like the part of the funny joke, but I fucking hate mug. Hate that dog on the can. Hate that fucking taste. Mug is infinitely worse than any other kind of rooted beer. There are so many better root beers out there. There are so many better root beers out there. Right? There's like Sioux City root beer, 1912 root beer. There are a billion different good root beers. Mug sucks. Like, I know it's for, like, the jocular jokes, the, the goofs and the gaffs, but Mug is awful. Uh, what do we got in the lockers? Oh, boy! Fire extinguisher, fire- Hey! Hell yeah! We love safety. Oh, and here's where our, uh- Oh, that's where our power is. Okay. The fuse box is now in the- Oh! Oh! Rocks. God damn it. Come on. Oh. Nope. Don't already fuck it, Brendan. Don't already fuck it. We're gonna go right to Oscar and fix that bitch. There we go, see? All easy peasy, all easy breezy. We got, a, we got a fucked up satellite, we're gonna go right over there. What's the turbo again? Turbo shift, got it. Alright. I'm a four-wheeling hog, I'm not worried about it, I'm a four-wheeling hog. No! I was a four-wheeling hog. Okay. That'll happen. You get a little stupid, and you drive immediately into the river. That'll happen. You get a little dumb in the middle of the night, you may in fact... Drive immediately into the river. It'll happen. It could happen to you. It could happen to me. So. Oh boy, a swamp! I mean, I could go play in the swamp for a minute. Do I have batteries? Oh no, in my suitcase I have batteries. Alright, we gotta go right back. I fixed a funny little satellite. I did my job. Don't have a ghoul pop out of the scary woods. Don't have that ghoul try to hit me with its ghouly fucking goods. Ain't nothing out here to be afraid of. I got my deet. I got deet on, babe. Anything is possible when you're out in the woods, you got a bunch of deet. Anything is fucking possible. You afraid? You were scared? No, 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 no. I'm not afraid or scared. I got deet, bitch. I got a big can of fucking deet. I'm not afraid of nothing. Mosquitoes, slime, no nothing. I ain't afraid. What are the what are the mosquitoes gonna do? Fucking bop me? What are they gonna do? Fucking eat me? Suck me? Hey! This is where I sleep. There we go. What time is it right now? Oh, one sec. What a fucking mess is made in here. Fucking disgusting, dude. You're making me clean this shit up. 6 a.m. Freddy is defeated. 6.01 a.m. I've defeated Freddy. Oh, fuck the sitting chair. I can just hang out here. I got a fucking balcony now. I feel like my apartment just got larger. Got fully upgraded. That's awesome. So many fire extinguishers here. Burger! Get the fuck out of here. We need to stop this. Whatever you're doing, you need to fucking stop. Somebody said, buy garbage bags for easy money? What, how do I, how would I sell it? Store, um, tools? Garbage bags? Red ball, ball of red string! Oh, hell yeah. Swatta! Nail gun! Cell gun! Just like Gmod. Item box? Oh. What's an item box? Uh, is that in storage? I do like money. Not gonna lie. Could I put things in the item box if I buy- I'm gonna buy an item box. And if I put random shit into the item box without the garbage bag, will it still sell those? Bags are in hygiene. They're too much. I don't have enough. I don't have enough money yet. Ah, sell the extinguishers. Ah, we don't need fire extinguishers. What were they thinking? Time to sell what I have. And what I have in abundance are fire extinguishers. Where are those rocks at? If I could pop the mannequins in there, that'd be sick. Saving up for a rainy day, eh, champ? Yeah. This is my fire extinguisher fund. What is that, a wasp nest? Get that the fuck out of here. No, 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 fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. How do I fucking squash you? Fucking squish you, kill you! Can I eat that? I'm gonna sell you. Bug for science, bug money. That's right. Bug money. Bug money! Check the bug's pockets. I got bug- I ate it? No, I didn't, I put it in my inventory. Bug money. You thought I ate it? No, bug money. I'm thinking about bug money. What, you think I'm not thinking about making ludicrous amounts of bug money? You're fucking stupid. If you don't think I'm making bug If you don't think I'm fucking out here making yumular bugular money, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. You're crazy. I'm making bug money. Store the bug. Value 1.9. That's bug money, baby. Oh, bugs are worth less than garbage. Why? Wow. How, how much is the funny foam worth? Come on. 
$55. There we go. 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 How much is, uh, how much is coal worth? Oh, coal's worth it. Well, that's worth a lot. Isn't that the value? Or is that the volume? Oh, then, no, that's the volume, not the value. Oh. I'm stupid. It doesn't tell me how valuable it is. I thought that was va- It literally says it right there, Brendan. Right fucking there, buddy. Need me a monster- Need a monster energy drink. Oh, there's no soda in here. Oh, no, does it have to be the- I knocked it over. Um, I thought it'd be funny, because it said Wug on it, but I don't think I'm strong enough to be able to pick it back up, maybe. Ow! Did I die? Mug revenge. Soda. Ah. Soda! I... <laughs> I like the... I believe in you. I die. I lost my faith in you. Up. Oh. This'll do. This'll do. That'll work. Fuck you. Away from the door. Well, I can buy soda. Shrimp! Oh god, they got shrimp? What other kind of soda they got? They got Peepsy? They got Peepsy! They got shrimp! What other soda they got? Wug, Zeta Energy... I'm gonna get some shrimp. I'm thirsty. Uh, how much money do I have now? Did that did an item box come by and give me that money? I have fifteen dollars. How long does it take before I get my dollars? That's gotta be the normal drone going away, right? Why are those rocks out there? I love how serene this bitch looks now. The cupboards are bare. Oh fuck. The cupboards are the bear on Hulu. Oh fuck. Yeah. I love- I've been watching the bear lately, and I love how much of the bear is- Dude, what if you had a frickin- Dude, what if you- What if you- Dude, what if you- And then it's like, ah, hell yeah, here's an episode about cooking a- Cooking a big burger. And then it's like, hey, what if you- But what if you- And it's like, ah, yeah, who's- Who's that guy over there? Ah, that guy- That guy over there? Yeah, he's the bear. He's the bear! Yeah, the famous- The bear. Oh my god, he's the famous the bear. Brendan, do you bleed? Yeah? I got blood in my body. I got bones in my body. What do you think I don't fucking bleed? Do you think I'm fucking dry? You think I accidentally get cut and then fucking sand puffs out of my veins? Yeah, I bleed. Of course I do. Yes, I can die. Yes, you could uh, drop a rock on my head and fucking blow my brains out. Yes. I'm very drop em rockular. I know. I don't think, you know, I don't think I, I don't think I need to take the ATV. I think I can walk over there. I think it could be a little adventure. I don't think I need the ATV. I think walking will be nice. Um, we got the food and stuff. Be a nice walk. Maybe we can find something cool. We don't know. But I feel like the ATV, I mean, the ATV is great and all, um, but we'll get back before nightfall. That signal will be done. Be a, be a nice walk, you know, ha have a nice walkie out there in the woods. Maybe I'll spot something crazy and fucked up, or maybe I'll find nothing. You know, oh, well, here's a funny little satellite. Hello. Hello. Gotta go up to the transformer. Hello. Hello. We do a little walk, we do a little talk, we do a little hanging out. Hanging out and having a good time. Wires are all fucked up. What the wind be doing? And I want to die of hunger because I remember to bring MREs. I remember to go into this game with a grandma mindset. Honey, wear your coat. Honey, bring yourself a little snack. It's not even that far away. It's right over here. How do we reset this bitch? There we go. Reset this bitch. Good shit. Uh, click that. Oh, Toblerone! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love eat a Toblerone. We love a Toblerone. Grab that. We'll sell that. Fuck you. 
Uh, what is that? Old apple? Ew. That hurt, didn't it? Ow. Mm, old apple. Oh, log. Log! I love walk through the log. What a good bit. What a great fucking log that is. What an excellent fucking log slide that is. I used to have this dream when I was a kid that there was a nature theme park near me. And I don't know why, I just thought it was the coolest fucking idea ever. They had all these, like, cool slides inside of these big logs. And of course, they had log rides for fucking days. They had a big wildflower that you could get on and it would spin you around. You could go into a real big beehive. Honeycombed entrances. Just, just a nature theme park. All that bitch be natural. It was a beautiful dream. I'm glad I can share it with you, Chad. How much would you be, have to be paid to live like this for a whole month? 100k. I don't even think 100k. Like, uh, like probably fucking, I'd probably do this for 20 to 30k for a month. Five dollars. Some people, this is some people's dream, like a little secluded shack out in the woods. Nothing crazy, nothing, nothing insane. Would you sleep in a graveyard for... What did you, what did you say? Would you sleep in a graveyard for a hundred thousand? What is it? What, how much fucking money is that? Jesus, I'd sleep in a graveyard for a thousand dollars. Fuck, dude. Would you sleep in a graveyard for one bazillion dollar? Yeah. What the fuck? One bazillion dollars, Brendan. Yeah. Bags received. 66 points. Okay, well, that was the other one. We're waiting on this one now. Okay. How are all, how are all my baby boy satellites doing today? How are my children? <laughs> all my children are fine. No! What are my children's? Okay, okay. Um, SV.target. Let's get out there. Uh, Foxtrot. Brendan, probably a bad idea to be running through the woods in the middle of the night with your flashlights on. Yeah? Well, I'm just gonna run over here. I'm just gonna fix this bitch. I'm gonna run right back. No problem. It's not gonna be a single problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this bitch. I'm gonna be right back. Brendan, you can take the ATV. I don't want to take the ATV right now. I don't want to fucking think about it. I don't want it to get stolen. I'm just gonna run over here real quick. Is this Foxtrot? Like, Foxtrot's right here. Foxtrot's close by. This is Foxtrot. We're here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, had a wife and she was easy, put her in a pumpkin shell and I gave her herself her pumpkin hell, put her in a pumpkin shell, I've locked her in her pumpkin hell. There we go, easy peasy. Do a little math, make a little love, get down tonight. Not not for me to get braggadocious, not for me to get fucking crazy insane. Still my first day, having a great first day. A lot of, a lot of nature running, a lot of fucking... Having a lot of, uh, oh, the monolith. I'm having a lot of Naruto moments. You know? I'm just nature running. I'm thinking about being the hoe cage. A lot of fucking good times, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of fucking good times, you know? Collect this. We love our garbage. We love it so. We love our garbage. And we sell it to the mainland. Oh, yeah. I'm the kind of guy who can carry in all the groceries. Yeah. I can carry in all the groceries. What are you, jealous or something? Jealous of my grocery carrying abilities, huh? Who the fuck stopped up the fucking sink with paper? You worried about the evil water from the X-Files? What would be fucked up is they should- If they were gonna add anything from the X-Files into this game, you know what I would add is, uh, tombs. Just a slimy eel man who could slither through the ducks. He could, could slip in through the slightest crack. Real scary shit. Victor Tombs from the X-Files. And also, maybe that monster who loves Cher, because I do love that creature. Did you just spawn up there? Come here. Come here, come here. I'm gonna show you all you mannequins something. Fuck you. You wanna fucking pop up there? You wanna get fucking crazy? I'll get fucking crazy. What'd I fucking say? You wanna get fucking crazy? I'll get fucking crazy. I'll get fucking crazy all fucking day. Go fuck around, we'll find out, Mr. Mannequin. Ready, you're gonna get fucking killed. You wanna get fucking crazy? I'll get fucking crazy. That might have made them mad. Good. I got a hammer. I got a hammer and a dumb ass. Why is there a fog at 4 a.m.? 420! Nice! Yeah! Are you scared of aliens at all, Brendan? Eh. What are you gonna do? Pull me out of the locker? Pull my fucking underwear up? Give me an alien wedgie? Uh, you're not gonna give me an alien wedgie. I'm too strong to get an alien wedgie. I'm in the locker, bitch. They couldn't stuff me in the locker in middle school and elementary school because I was too big. What are you gonna do? Pull me out of the locker with your greasy grippers? Alright, that bitch is downloading. 6 a.m. Golden Freddy defeated. What is this game about? Defeating Golden Freddy before he gets you. You gotta stay out of his uh grippy his grippy gro his grippy his grippy groisters. Stay out of Golden Freddy's grippy groisters and you'll be fine. 
bitch ass motherfuckers out there in the woods want to fucking take me down, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna blow real hot on your ear. I'm gonna blow some fucking hot air on your ear, bitch. Bitch ass motherfuckers want to take me down, I'm gonna blow some hot air. I'm gonna snatch up every motherfucker birthday. I'd rather it be an AFV, an M1 Abrams would come in handy, real handy. I thought you were talking about America's Funniest Home Videos. I would rather it be AFV. What if there's a TV out here playing bloopers? What if you were out there in the woods and you saw a fucking CRT TV and it had a man and he slipped and fell and his fucking pants split open and his ass popped out? That'd be fucked up. <laughs> it could happen to you, chat. It's one of the number one fears of any red-blooded American that you're hanging out, having a good time. You're fucking, you fall down, you split your pants, your ass falls out. If it could happen to me, it could happen to you, chat. It could happen to anybody. I gotta buy more batteries too. Remind me, chat. Put that on my grocery list. Alexa, order more batteries. Okay, Google, buy seven pounds of batteries, D-cell, make sure it's gift wrapped, and the, the note says, for mom, I was checking your sex drawer later, and I saw you were out. Thanks, Google. <laughs> That'll fucking show, Chad. <laughs> Siri, call me Tide Pod Eater from now on. Confirm. Siri, confirm order, uh, Alexa, confirm order of, uh, double base boosted denim shorts. I mean, if it's like a Bigfoot or something, the birds and squirrels are probably cool with him. If it's a Bigfoot and a Bigfoot is coming at me, what is he going to do? Hit me with his big feet? I'm just going to put a bunch of wood everywhere in my base. He's going to get a Bigfoot splinter. I don't, like, I'm not afraid of Bigfoot. Because if Bigfoot does exist, if he's out there in the fucking woods, what is he going to do? Bigfoot at me? I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm going to kick your ass, dude. Yeah, it's me, Bigfoot. I'm going to kick your ass, dude. Like, okay. Bigfoot at me. He's going to cornhole you? Bigfoot's not going to fucking cornhole me. There's not going to be an autobiography that I release at 40 said, I married a Sasquatch. My wife left me on account of Bigfoot. Brennan, kind of crazy and fucked up that your autobiography literally reads, married to a Bigfoot, Sasquatch won't let me leave. Well, you know, I doubted the power of Bigfoot, and this is what happens when you doubt the power of Bigfoot. Bigfoot gets you. Bigfoot wants to smoke weed and drink wug. I'm going to kill Bigfoot. With a 9mm pistol, I'd kill Bigfoot. I'd shoot Bigfoot directly in the head. Dead on impact. You can write his obituary. Bigfoot died today. 1,200 years old. Dead on impact. Local streamer destroys Bigfoot with steamroller. Dogs. Uh, uh, adopt these dogs today. Right underneath that. Bigfoot obituary. Start writing it. Big feet are bulletproof? Yeah, okay. Well, I have anti-Bigfoot bullets. Duh. You think I haven't thought 18 steps ahead? Ridiculous. Nachatos. Get a nacho snack. Yumpy Dorito! My Doritos are so freaking loaded. My Doritos are loaded with you. My Doritos are loaded with slime. Me when I Dorito with you. Yeah, Brennan, type in sex. I'm not gonna type in sex. What do you want me to type in sex? Is something fucked up gonna happen when I type in sex? You should type sex into the command line. I'm not gonna type sex into the command line. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's fucked up. Do it, streamer. Type in sex. Fine, I'll do it when I get back. Alien ASCII boobs. I feel like you're lying. I feel like an alien's gonna come out and just pop my fucking head off and then drink from my neck hole. Drink from your mortal wound. Drink your- drink- drink directly out of the streamer. I'm like a Capri Sun for aliens. They're picking me up and opening me up and then fucking slamming back a big jug of Brendan. I don't want it to be a big jug. I don't want to be a big jug of Brendan. No, sir. No sex. Ah! <sighs> no sex. Oh. Garbage is full. All right, let's go ahead and pick up the gar- Roach bug. That's a big fu- Is that a real bug, though? That was a real bug. Oh. I don't think it was a real bug. That was a lie bug. Lie of a bug. I'm seeing bugs. I'm having bug dreams. Okay. I gotta go EP. I'm having bug dreams. I gotta go EP. I'm having bug dreams. Yeah, I know. This is just what would happen to me when I was a kid and I'd stay up too late playing on the Nintendo 64. I'd have bug dreams. It was the alien. You killed it. That's crazy. Why did the alien be like a bug? Alien bug dreams. Having those bug dreams. Having those bug, bug dreams. Those creatures, they're creaturing. The monsters, they're monstering. Those noises, they're sounding. Wait a minute. 
Oh, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> what if there's something fucking out there? Wouldn't that be crazy? You know, when I was a kid, I thought I had an alien experience um, back out on the farm, but it was actually one of my dad's friends who had gotten so fucking high, they'd ran out into the cornfield and got fucking naked. So it was just this full adult man in his whitey tidies, like overweight belly, like distended belly, just popping out of the fucking cornfield next to our farmhouse, just seven o'clock in the morning on my way to school, he just, Scariest shit ever. Took me a full, like, two seconds to register. That wasn't, like, an alien. It was a man. But scariest two fucking seconds in my life. Not gonna lie. When I thought that was an alien, thought I was gonna fucking die. Just a naked man in the woods. Well, you gotta remember, like, out of the farm. Shit's crazy. You never seen a UFO streamer? Never seen a UFO. No. I've seen crop circles. I think they're hoaxes. I don't, I, you know, I don't believe in aliens. I'm sorry. I don't believe in life out there. I don't believe in the great unknown. You know that already, though. I think the world is a lot more boring than uh than other people do. I mean, there could be other life. Maybe they're just space crabs. True. I don't think I I, I don't disbelieve in the, the 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 theory of life out there. What I disbelieve in is the theory that life out there has brought like themselves to us. I I don't think that life out there has gotten here. Right. I don't think we are important enough. You know, I, I feel like that's a, that's part of like the human self-importance experiment where we believe that we are so very important that it is necessary for other life to think of us also as important, right? Like this idea that we are so self-absorbed as a, as a race um, that genuinely we are the only important race out there and any other race out there uh, will definitely be interested in us. No, at best we are a garbage planet that may get used as like a, a, a human soup zoo. You know, maybe we're an alien experiment, right? Like, I think that's the the best it's gonna get. But even then, I, I don't think, like, they fuck around. I don't think they fuck around with us at all. Out the tree. God damn it, I rolled it. You're actually from another planet and are actively trying to mislead us? Yeah. That's the sound an alien would make, so. Yeah, what of it, huh? You gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna cream about it, huh? You're gonna freak out about it? I don't know what's out there. You know, I'm not gonna say that I know what's out there. I just don't think we are important enough. I don't place a lot of importance on, uh, humanity in the, in the galactic hole. Space! Galactic hole? I mean, some people, all they want alien to be real so they can get that, that spussy. You know, some people really just want that space poon. They want that alien sex. Brendan, you ever listen to the newest brown note? Why would I listen to the newest brown- Oh, fuck it. Oh, Brendan, you gotta hear this shit. Literally. You gotta hear this, then you'll shit. Like, what is, what is the- what, why do you want me to shit so bad? And please, all I want to do is see you shit on stream. Please, I just want to see you shit your pants. Brendan, you would be such a relatable guy if you shit on stream. Shouting it out to you, Brendan. You'd be so fucking relatable if you shit on stream. Listen, everybody's looking for the relatable streamer. The guy who's like, this guy, like me, for real. And I'm looking for somebody, Brendan. I'm looking for somebody who can diarrhea shit on stream. What I've always wanted, Brendan. Just somebody who'd poop their pants playing a video game just like me. He's too scared to poop his pants on stream. He's too chicken. What do you mean I'm too chicken to shit my pants on stream? What do you mean? I mean, I yeah, absolutely I am. I don't want to make a mess. I gotta, I have to clean that up. That would suck. If you like cleaning up garbage, if you like picking up trash, then you can go and sell that. No, you can sell that trash. You can go and sell that garbage to make big stacks of cash. What if you were hanging out? At your funny little desk, you were sitting in your chair. And then somebody just fucking threw a squid directly at you. That'd be fucked up, right? If somebody threw a squid at your window. It's just a plot to Watchmen. You're the Watchman. Who watches the Watchman? Look outside, there's a witch. It is her hour. I don't want to go- I don't want to get fucking witched. They're gonna put me in a big cauldron. They're gonna make Brendan brew. Brendan stew. I don't want to get Brendan stewed. Stop trying to get me fucking stewed. Come on, Brendan. Brennan, I think you make a fine, a fine vichy swaz. Kind of like a cold soup. Stop trying to fucking stew at me. Why do you want me to be so fucking stewful? So rueful, so stewful. Why does everybody want me to be in their fucking stew? Why is it that I go to Walmart and witches are just out and about waiting for me to walk into a big bubbling cauldron? This shit sucks, man! Fucking hate the cauldron, dude. Sick of this shit. This shit sucks, man. Four posting at the Walmart? Wearing a shirt that says, live, laugh, vor to the family reunion. See what happens. See what happens. So I, I hear you draw funny little pictures. Yeah, uncle. Um, well, it looks like, uh, can you show me some of those funny little pictures? No, uncle. 
Oh. But I hear you're drawing funny little pictures now. You don't want to see the funny little pictures I'm drawing, Uncle. You know what, uh, Crystal from Star Fox? Oh, well, I'm aware of Star Fox. What if she, uh, like, Uncle? What if she freaking, uh, what if she ate Star Fox? Erp. <laughs> what? Yeah, you don't get it. For posting at the Radio Shack, getting kicked out. Who are you voting for this election season? Alvor? He's not running. You know what's fucked up is the roaches are way more scary to me. Um, than any of the other shit. Not gonna lie. I might be mostly afraid of the roaches. Chat? Doors open. I gotta go to it. Doors open, chat. Door's closed. I don't like that the door is still there. But you know, birds are chirping. Grass grows. Birds fly. Sun shines. And brother, I door people. The scary door. I break you. I don't like the scary door. I want to get rid of the scary door. No more scary fucking door. All right, park it here. Remember, we parked on the side of this hill. Ah. Look at that, chat. It was all worth it for that view. Oh, man. The morning sun cresting right over the hill. Jeez. Things like this make you say, I don't want to do face cam right now. I'll bring it back when I feel like it. I'm going to turn it off for a bit, though. Man, things like this really get you in the mood to turn off face cam and kind of just enjoy the scenery. Can't wait for the sun to explode. What? Don't say shit like that. Ah, uh, feels good. Love that nature. You know they should have a they should have a morel mushroom event. I don't know why. I I, I have a lot of fond memories with my grandfather. Uh, both of my grandfathers actually. And this is one of those games that makes me really wish there were more games that took mushroom hunting and foraging into account. Because there are a lot of mushrooms, but I, I don't ever see morels, and something about those really bring back good memories. Sometimes when I'm really sad, I'll just look up and Google image search pictures of morel mushrooms, which I know is like a, like a, like a crazy aunt thing, okay? You can't make fun of me. It's a sad thing. <laughs> but sometimes I just go and look up pictures of morel mushrooms and like sit back and go, yeah, those are the days. I don't even like morels that much. I just have good memories of hunting them out in the woods. What do you say, Maury? You are not the papa. This is the papa. You know, my cousin was on Maury. I've talked about that at length before. One of my cousins and, uh, her baby... Daddy was not the daddy. Fun little fact. I, uh, have family that was on Maury. Uh, a few of my cousins could be on Maury, but I don't think they could behave themselves on TV. Oh, no, that's, that's the point of shows like that. I've talked about it before. Um, shows like Maury and shows like Jerry Springer back in the day, a lot of trash TV. That's the point. They don't want you to behave. They'll pay you extra to not behave. It's not pay you extra, but it's like they, they essentially have producers that are there to, as best as they can, rile up, uh, people who go on the show. Like, they give you, uh, like, energy drinks, they fucking pump you full of caffeine and shit, and they send you out there. They want you to get mad, because that's what makes for good TV. TV, trash TV like that is very exploitative in the ways that, like, yeah, uh, they, they pump you up full of shit, basically, to make you as agitated as possible. There was a story from one of the producers on Jerry Springer who would straight up, like, be like, yeah, I just straight up lie to people. Not like redneck fights, like blood feuds, yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I get really confused about Yellowstone State Park. Because, uh, Yellow Smoke? One of the two. There's a, there's a park over by where I grew up called Yellow Smoke, I think. Yeah, Yellow Smoke. And, like, hearing about the National Park Yellowstone growing up confuses the shit out of me. And also, my ass would fall into a geyser. 100%. I'm never, I'm never gonna go to a great, like, national landmark like Yellowstone. Because my ass would fall into a geyser. Aaron fucking team. Ain't no fucking way I'm not falling into a geyser. If anybody, there's gonna be, oh, the modern man falling into a geyser is no longer a problem. Not here. Not you. Couldn't happen to you. The modern man. It would happen to me. The modern man. I would fall into a fucking geyser. It can happen to anybody. It can even happen to me. Death by boiling geyser does sound horrible. Yeah, but think about this, right? Would it be cool if you got geyser powers from that? You could shoot, like, really hot water out of your hands? It'd be awesome, right? Fucking bugs. Eat that bug. Did I just eat that bug? I ate that bug, didn't I? I ate that fucking bug, didn't I? I just ate that fucking bug, didn't I? Eat that bug. I guess I'm bug hungry. They're propagating in here. See? And you think maybe I waste my freaking time? Bug are propagating in the break room. 
Gotta put a fresh coat of paint on this bitch. Is that- is that Gur from Invader Zim? Fuck you! Fuck you! I can't believe I just got Gurd. I can't fucking believe it. In the year of our lord this year, I got Gurd. I made waffles. God damn it. Don't fucking remind me of my- my- my complicated and twisted backstory. <laughs> We're gonna want some more American. Cherry or apple pie? Um, as American as apple pie is a saying, so apple pie. Apple pie is more American than cherry pie, and I say that because the saying goes, as American as apple pie, not as American as cherry pie. But also you got that song like, Jeez, my cherry pie, born in the United States of America, just like the pie that she is now, she is American. And like, okay, maybe that, maybe that's the bit. But why is my guy so fucking short? Why am I four foot eight? Can't even reach the high cabinets. You know how infuriating this is to me at six foot five? I hate this. I hate this. I hate being shorter than the fucking fridge. This bothers me. I should not be shorter than the fridge. This bothers me. I'm four eight. I hate this. Six five man in a four eight world. I hate this. This is the one thing about video game immersion that fucks me up. How short your fucking guys are. You guys are so fucking short in video games. Ten foot ceiling for the six foot five man. Oh yeah, the new Avatar game definitely- ooh, bug. I gotta eat that, sorry. Don't mind me. There we go. Uh, <laughs> the Men in Black Roach guy. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I'm mighty hungry. I gotta- I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta take care of your stuff, you know, I gotta- Looks like you got a leak and you got some coolant leaking. I- I can take care of that for you. Alien in chat. <laughs> Alien in chat going gorp. <laughs> Alien in chat just drank a big a big cup of water from the water fountain. <laughs> gulp. I don't know why it was like a Woody Allen gulp. Does WE own the Three Stooges? I think they renewed the copyright for the Three Stooges or the trademark for them when um, they did the Will Sasso movie, right? It was the Will Sasso popularity vehicle. Will Sasso, Will Sasso was going to get a fat W with that. Because he was curly. No Shemp in that movie though. Ain't no way. They're not putting Shemp in that one. They should have a giant size- they should have a very rare event in this game that summons a sky-sized Shemp. And then he just YI autos at you with a big finger. That'd be fucked. What the shit? Dorime? Dorime? Interi Blotana say not Dorime? Ameno? Ameno? Lanty Ray? Lanty Ray? Eh? Dorime? Is this Shemp? Are you the sky- are you the Shemp in the sky? One second. I'm gonna grab you. i fucking toss you at you. So, uh, that's pretty cool, Shemp in the sky. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, mannequins with a planican. You wanna make out with Shemp or something? No, I just think he's a really cool stooge. Shut up. God, so fucking rude. Mannequin, splash! Mannequin, splash! We're gonna get out of there. Why? I mean, I'm getting out of there, but I gotta do my dubious duty. The mannequin's fucked up the server. I'm out of there, don't worry. <laughs> Brennan, get the fuck out of there! Yeah, okay. I feel like you're trying to- I feel like you may be trying too hard, chat. You're trying way too hard to fucking scare me? Like, what is gonna happen? Creature? Yeah, and? What are they gonna do? Creature at me? What is a fucking alien gonna do? Alien at me? Okay. I'm ready, bitch. I grew up on the fucking farm. I don't know how to fucking fight. Hit it with a backhoe. Hit it with a backhoe. Hit it with a front splash. Hit it with a front splash. They're going to get you! Yeah, okay. A lot of things are gonna fucking get me. Heart disease is gonna fucking get me. Diabetes is probably gonna fucking get me. What makes- what makes an alien- WHOA! What makes an alien scarier than diabetes? Why is an alien scarier than diabetes? Diabetes is infinitely scarier to me than aliens. Heart disease is infinitely scarier to me than aliens. What is an alien gonna fucking do? He's gonna put your head in a jar and put you in the infinite torture nexus. Okay, and? I'm not gonna be able to do anything about it. Put me in the torture nexus. That's literally the afterlife. The prospect of being dissected, likely? Okay, rip me apart. Put me back together. Make me fucking feel it, I guess. That'll be something. At least I get a cool story out of it, right? Space diabetes! Now we're fucking talking. That shit's scary. Is getting to be a scary night time, ain't it? Is getting to be that time of night when it gets a little scary out here. Oh, my organs got rearranged, but at least I don't have diabetes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. The prospect of an alien is inherently, like, Maybe the unknown is a little bit scary, cause like, and jump scares and loud noises are gonna fucking scare me, but like, in genuine, in real, if an alien fucking got me, what am I gonna be able to do to stop the fucking alien? So like, if it ha if the alien is always just- Alien in media, I think, is always just like, what if it was heart disease, and the alien was just you not taking your nitroglycerin pills? It's all meta metaphor. It's all metaphor, bitch. It's all artistic metaphor. 
What if Paul got you? I mean, if Paul got me, that'd be sick. Doesn't Paul have the ability to, like, heal you? Doesn't Paul, like, fucking heal with a touch? That'd be fucking awesome. Paul fixes all your problems. Paul touches me, fixes my eyes. Paul smokes weed, all right? If it was Paul hanging out in the fucking woods, I'd smoke weed with Paul. I calibrate on the first date. Yeah, that's right. You're looking for somebody to fucking fix your TV. Invite me over to your house. Let's go on a date. I'll come over to your parents' house and fix their fucking TV. I'll go over to your parents' house and I'll take their fucking TV off of uh, sports motion mode. I'll fucking do it. You don't think I'll do it? I'll fucking do it. I'll come over to your house and fix your parents' TV. I'm married. I love my wife. But if I was single, I'd be a great... I'd be an amazing fucking catch. Because first fucking time we meet your parents, we go over to their house, I fix their fucking TV. I get on the goddamn remote and I set that, I sh I set that shit up perfectly. I set the color grading, the saturation. I can get in there, turn the motion, motion smoothing off. Talk to your dad about football. Have a beer with him. My moms would invite you for dinner and fill your plate more than mine to signal I'm being replaced as their son. I'll come over to your house and your moms will make me their son. Oh yeah, you got, you got a two mom world. Living out there in the two mom world. Yes, Dr. Frankenstein, yes. I will make your monster larger, yes. What? Igor, what? Yes, Dr. Frankenstein. Keep fucking moving. What? No. Hey, Brendan, if you're on for an incredible slot movie, I suggest The Greasy Strangler. What? <laughs> Why do I have my chat? Why do I have my chat be like, Brendan, Brendan, you gotta check it out, Brendan. It's an awesome movie called The Greasy Strangler. You're gonna fucking love it, buddy. Like, what? Ain't nothing gonna grab me now. They better not eat me, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh, I will not be your sandwich. Ain't nothing gonna grab my skin. No one's gonna wear my skin. Oh no. Lights are out. <sighs> I gotta go downstairs and turn the fuses back on. All right, you dumb motherfuckers, let's go, baby, let's go. Ba 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 Fuck you, Luigi! Hey, whoever turned those fuses off, you're a stanky bitch. Why do we hear the fucked up sound of a fucked up theremin? Why are they thereminning at me? Don't theremin me! Don't you fucking theremin at me, Buster! You think you're hot shit, don't you, with your fucking cool ass theremin? You think you're hot fucking shit, don't you? Cool ass fucking theremin, fat fucking ass? You think you're hot as fuck, don't you? you think you're fucking hot as fuck? What if this is an ama amazing circus hype? What if this was an amazing circus hype game? Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Today we're gonna try to find Pomni and Voices of the Void. Wow! I would fucking, I gotta fuck you. I'm buying a TV and I'm gonna put Lanky Box on the fucking TV. Just cause you said that, I'm saving up money for a TV now. Then I'm gonna put Lanky Box on the fucking TV. Look at what you did. Gooseworks did work on this game. Pomni is kind of freaking epic, actually. Um, there should be a lot more pictures of Pomni online, of like uh, her holding a big watermelon and smashing it against her head. I'm just saying, I think it'd be pretty cool. Is that your fetish buster? No! All my kids are fine. All right, all my kids are fine, good. Pinging every, pinging all my kids in the family discord. Are all my kids still alive? Cool. Awesome to hear. Oh, so that's what those alien bastards did. You alien bastards gunked up my radio. Pep Pep can't listen to his fucking stories anymore. Those damn alien bastards jacked up my radio signal. They fucked me up crazy style. Now Pep Pep can't listen to the songs, the dances. I was gonna put on Vaudevillian Joe and listen to his awesome fucking 1920s music. But now Pep Pep can't do that anymore. I'll fix it. I'm... I'm up here. I put my hands up. I turn the radio on. I mean, all fine. But it said it was fucked up. Status all fine. What? You made it all fine? Oh, okay. What's the zoom button again? Just seeing if I can see any creatures. Okay, item box is coming in. Any fucking, any fucking, any fucking aliens out there? Trying to fuck around in my house? Any fucking, um... Any fucking big feet? Anybody see any fucking big feet? Nope. I see some logs. Anybody see a Bigfoot? Alright, no Bigfoot, no logs. We're good. He's so good at fixing radio towers, he didn't even notice he did it. Yeah, I played a lot of Far Cry 3. Yeah. 
little bit of a Far Cry 3 professional. Did a lot of parkour puzzles to get to the top of a radio tower so I could do some parkour for Far Cry 3. Pretty awesome. Very good at freaking parkour. That's fine. I'll take the ladder down. I'm a simple bitch. I don't want to get in trouble or nothing. I'm just saying it. I'm saying it. I'm picking up a lot of fetid slime to sell today. We are grabbing bottles, uh, we are grabbing cans, and we are gonna run over to the radio towers to check them, but we gotta buy some basic bitch supplies. Hello, door. Hate this door. This door is so fucking evil. Sick of this door shit, dude. Door this, door that. Door should wear a door hat. Hate this door, man. Ubisoft training paying off? Yeah. Time to- time to fucking- oh, hell yeah. Time to fucking climb those towers. And then jump into a soft pile of hay with which to find purchase in. Mm mm. Hey, look at all the garbage that I can get. Oh, meat room. Um, cool. But it's like they locked it shut. Um, yeah, I wouldn't trust. The, why would there be a meat room here? Why, well, person? Honestly, you know, the more I think about it, the more I think, damn, we don't need a meat room at the um. You know, I keep thinking about this. The, the more I think, you know, I don't think we really need a meat room. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think we need a meat room. I mean, I guess for tissue samples, but not, not for meat. Um, yeah, not feeling the meat room vibes. Uh, we need the meat room, Brendan. This is, uh, convince me why do we need the meat room on our fucking signal, uh, like, simulator base? What is the meat room gonna do? Brendan, don't you want flank steak frozen at the optimal temperature and ready for just straight eating? We don't need the ribeye, ribeye room. We don't need it. Oh, Brendan, you don't understand. I'm a rib maniac. If I go without fresh ribs for at least a week, I will fucking kill you. Oh, you know what? Maybe we need the meat room, actually. Fine, fine, fine. If you're gonna freak out without fresh ribeye for like a week, then fine. We can keep the meat room. We need the ribeye room, Brendan. What would you say if somebody tried to take away your slime, your shit? Alien first contact barbecue? Now we're fucking cooking. Now we're talking and cooking. Sleep in the meat room. It's the optimal temperature. Oh, you know what? It is for meat, and I, me, me, my, I am meat. I'm meat, therefore I yam. Mr. Sun came out and he smiled at me. Bum, 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 bum. I said it's gonna be a good one. Just wait and see. Bum, 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 ba da 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 da. Jumped out of bed and I ran outside feeling so ecstatic, terrified. Ow! Walking is good for the buttons and the thighs. Walking is good for your sanity. Maybe I'll find a little mushroom. I don't know. Maybe I'll find a couple of little dubious uh, foraging snacks. Come find a couple of berries. Find a mulberry bush. Pick a couple of berries. Be the berry boy that I've always dreamed to be. I'm so happy, got nothing to do. Bum, 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 bum. Just spent an entire hour just tying my shoe. When crazy shit isn't happening, this game is just calming. Data processing simulator? Yeah. It's nice and calming until it isn't. It really, it really lowers your, um... It definitely knows how to lower your, uh, what is it called? Uh, your, your... Not horse blinders. Why did I think horse blinders? It, it has you, it, this game helps you drop your guard. This is definitely a drop your guard and then something fucked up happens kind of game. Drop your guard, Brendan, and then a mannequin's gonna come at you with a hatchet and then fucking chop your legs off. Yeah, lower your good, drop your guard, lower your defenses, lower your bread fences. Yeah, just normal forest noises. Uh, you never hear this shit? Shit be like. I can do that with my mouth. Check that shit out. Never hear that out in the woods? Because I hear that all the time. I'm not worried about it. There's this gray little guy who pops out of my woods with huge black eyes at the back of my house. And he fucking pops out and I give him a go-gurt and he runs away. It's pretty cool. Pretty friendly little guy. There's just a gray little guy. Completely naked. Completely bald. Huge black eyes. And he pops out from my backyard at like 3, 4 a.m. And I just give him a big tube of yogurt and he's happy and he leaves. Happens like once a month. I only hear moaning and screaming in my words, world, uh, my woods. Move out of dead by daylight. If chat showed up in your backyard, would you give us gogurt? No, I throw hammers at you. I'd, I, I'd buy a big. I'd make sure I have a big box full of rusty old hammers, and I just start fucking tossing them at you, hammer bro style. But I mean, downside to that is you're gonna start throwing them back. So I'm gonna have to pick my battle. I'm gonna aim for the weakest of you first. The strongest of you will probably make it to me for hand-to-hand -hand combat, but I will, I will inevitably aim for the weakest of you first. 
I'm so fucking sorry, but I... I think I'll be able to determine who is the weakest and who is the strongest, so... I'm so freaking sorry. But I will just throw ball peen hammers, rubber mallets, claw hammers, any kind of hammer. That's a detection battery, by the way. That's if uh, an alien knocks it over. I know they've been here. All right, let's go to TR1. It can wait if you want. No, no, no. I, 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 you know what? I'm out here. We are out here. Out here in the forest. The forest, the fields of David Lynch. We are out here seeking the truth, truth seekers. We are finding the things that they don't want to be seen. We are, we are divesting ourselves from the means of the old and finding the new. I am not worried about the blood of the human. I am worried about the sanctity of life. The aliens have the fucking quinoa. They have raw meat and plenty of it. I need that shit now. Hand it over. I'm gonna buy a TV. $311. <laughs> now that's TV money. They're watching movies on their fucking phone. Oh, people are setting off fucking fireworks. Ooh, boy, organic matter. God, I fucking hate that. I hate that it's like, yeah, every, like two weeks before the 4th of July and like a week after the 4th of fucking July. Motherfuckers always got to turn on their fucking fireworks. They got to start blowing that shit up. I fucking hate it. Fuck off. Hate that shit. I just hear fucking boo, boo, waiting for a dumbass neighbor to like fire one off and then it fucking goes through one of my windows. Burns my fucking house down. That'd be my goddamn luck. Hoorah! America! America! Yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna eat franken beans right out of the can! Hoorah! 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 And stop me from eating that fucking slime! I swear to God, it's my God-given American right to eat that shit! Hoorah! 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 Nobody can fucking hold on to their shit. They've been blowing fireworks up all fucking week. They're gonna be blowing fire- and like at like 12 at- 12 in the fucking morning! Like, I don't mean to be an old man who hates fun, but fucking midnight, come on now. There are people trying to stream video games about aliens out here. You could be a little less rude. I'm just trying to see a little creature going. <laughs> and he looks up, he looks up at me and he goes. <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah, dude. And I give him a Capri Sun and he drinks the whole thing in one gulp. We can't hear it. I know you can't hear it. I can hear it. I, I have a great, I have a, I have a great noise gate. You're not going to be able to hear the fireworks unless they fucking go off in my house. Um, but I can hear it, and it annoys me. It's not about you, chat. It's all about me. Is the stream called twitch.tv slash Daniels chat? No, no, no. Twitch.tv slash Daniel. Uh, what'd you spend all your money on, Brendan? Chicken nugget? No! You better not have spent all your money on chicken nugget again, Brendan. I'm sorry. I'm such a precocious little scamp. I'm sorry. You can't see it right now, but my legs are like squeezed together and I'm just... I'm sorry. I spent all our money on chicken nugget again. Please forgive me. <laughs> hey, honey, how's the how's the house budget looking like? Uh, don't worry, puppy. I, I didn't spend all our money on chicken mac nugget again. Haha, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Hate it here, hate it here, hate it here. You love it here. Don't even. Don't try to pretend. Don't get all fucking like... I hate it here when Brenda does the puppy. Hey there, puppy voice. Urgh. I'm wagging my finger at you. A reaction is still a reaction, even if it's a bad one. <laughs> even if it's a bad one. Get all that wood scrap out of here. People were making wooden golems down in the basement once again. Somebody was trying to make a human Mokujin. Who the fuck was down here trying to make a human Mokujin? I'm sorry, Brendan. I didn't mean to. I just think Mokujin is so cool. He's so surly and bulky. I love him. Who down here trying to make Mokujin real? Putting meat from the meat room into the Mokujin room. That's what this game needs is a sparring dummy that comes to life at night. Fights the aliens for you. To spend all my money on trash da trash bags, chicken mag nuggets, and all that? Yes. Was it worth it? Yes. Will I regret it? No. Who's Mokujin? Oh, from Tekken. Mokujin from Tekken. From Tekken. Is Mokujin. Ever played Tekken? Look him up. You'd love Mokujin. Look up Mokujin, right? Go and Google Mokujin from Tekken. He's a great little guy. He's a viscous little freak. We love Mokujin. Hey, I'm from Tekken? Yeah, Mokujin from Tekken. I love Mokujin. He's a wooden little guy. I, I've always been a big fan of him. Mokujin also is, uh, since he's a training dummy, like a haunted training dummy, um, he doesn't have his own move set. So when you play as Mokujin in Tekken, not the newest Tekken, um, but like some of the older Tekkens, uh, he just has, uh, an RNG move set based on somebody else's move set. Love him. He's a cool wood guy. Holy shit, you're right. Mokujin is Blorbo. Mor Mokujin is fucking cool. I'd hang out with him. I'd have a beer with Mokujin. You ever, you ever look at like a, you ever look at like a sludge and you're like, are those breasts? Those boobs? That's not boobs. Why would I think that was boobs? Near the pot? 
Crouch down to see? That's just concrete. Look between the corner. Other side. Oh, right here. Oh, God! Got him. The fuck you. I can't fucking believe this shit. I can't believe I got fucking God. God damn it. I can believe I got fucking God. I'm gonna eat a chicken nugget. I'm so mad. I'm gonna eat a chicken nugget. I'm so mad. God damn it. I can't believe you fucking bopped me. I th can't believe you fucking boomed me. I knew- I had a feeling that it was gonna be a fucking- uh, some kind of boom. But I was waiting for the other f uh, fucking foot to drop, the other shoe to drop. God, I can't believe you fucking troll-faced at me with your little fucking secret video game. Problem, Brendan. Hey, Brendan. Problem. Hey, Brendan. Le problem, Brendan. Ah, uh, le problem. I can't believe you fucking got me like this. I'm so fucking upset. I'm, I'm literally going to shit my pants right now live on stream. <sighs> Didn't work. I don't have to shit. <sighs> Put a lot of work into it. Didn't have to shit. Oh, God. Where's my uh, crowbar? Hold that. Fuck these boxes. I hate them. Get them out of here. Eat the blue mushroom if you find it, Brendan. I don't know if I should trust a chat member who may or may not be a fucking gnome. I don't trust you, because I don't know if you are or are not a gnome. And only a gnome would say, Oh, hey there, Brendan. Eat the blue mushroom when you find it. I don't trust. I don't trust like that. I do not fucking trust like, Oh, Brendan, you should eat the blue mushroom. It's good for you. I fucking know what you're about. I ain't trusting that shit. I know it, I know that at least one in every 20 chat members is a fucking gnome. Might be a whole band of them. A whole band of gnomes in the fucking chat. Waiting for gnome season. Gnome season starting soon. Waiting for gnome season. Now you know gnome season. Gnome season's coming. Gnome season's almost upon us. Gotta be wary out there. There'd be a bunch of fucked up gnomes out there. Take those pointy hat bastards out there in droves yelling fiddle dee dee. Wait a minute, this moved. Fucker. All right, all right, somebody moved the fucking battery. Put the safety battery down there again. Was it me? It was not me. I did not move the safety battery. Chat, somebody moved the fucking safety battery. I'm Gnotic Elf. I'm Gnotic Noblin. I'm a Gnome. And you've been. Gnomed. Smoking a fat cigarette. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm Gnotic and Elf. You know, I'm, uh, I'm Gnotic and Oblin. Yeah, well, here's the, here's the thing, buddy. Here's the thing, pal. I'm a, uh, I'm a Gnome. And you? Well. You've been fucking gnomed. Alright, um, just like a wrestler, I'm gonna have a folding metal chair next to my bed. That way, if I wake up, I can actually just reach over here. Well, no, actually, I should turn this around. Uh, grab this, put this... There. So this way, this is the optimal, like, home defense, right? Metal chair at the foot of my bed, and if an alien comes in, I can fucking BANG! I can stone cold stun them. Alright? You would not believe your eyes if 10 billion fireflies came into your house and ripped off your face. They're in the open air, and they're glowing everywhere. And I'm freaked out, it's freaking me out, make me scare. Now what time is it? Three? Oh, no. Bitch! No, bitch! Why you wake up? Why you only sleep for like five hours? There's a firefly in here, dude. That's not a fucking firefly. That's not- I don't fucking trust like that. That's not a fucking firefly. There's a witch out there going- <laughs> Billy D, motherfucker. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. We're fucking going. Let's fucking go. We're gonna go fix a fucking satellite. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm not fucking afraid of nothing out here in the dark, scary forest. Not even that fucking signpost that looks a little scary. Let's fucking go, dude. Fiddle dee dee. I'm fucking out here, baby. I'm fucking righteous and ready, baby. What are you gonna do? Fucking bop me? Grab me with your long, silly fingers and go. I fucking. I. I dare. I fucking dare you. I fucking dare you. Come on, motherfucker. I got satellite. I got a job to do. I got shit to do. I gotta go fix this shit. Come on, motherfucker. Let's fucking go, baby. I don't even need the flashlight on. I'm not even scared of the dark. I can go to the gas station all by myself and put on my big boy pants. 
Ma, oh, motherfucker. I think I'm fucking scared of you. I am. I am scared of you, but I'm going to fucking fight you too. I didn't lock the door. I don't care. Let him fucking call me. Let him in, baby. Let him in. Let him in. I got shit to do. I got to get out there and I got to fix my shit. I'm a big boy. I'm a lineman for the county. I got to go fix the electric. I'm a goddamn lineman for the county. I got to go fix the electric right now. I got shit to do. What do you think? I'm not going to fix shit for the county? You think I'm a, you think I'm a fucking baby? Think I'm only going to fix shit during the day? Only during my office hours? No, no, no. I'm a lineman for the county, bitch. I'm a county hero, goddammit! Cause it's terror time again. And you won't get out alive. Cause it's terror time again. And you will not feel anything. It's a terrifying time. I said that while I'm here. Feel the secret of the owls. You can feel it in your bowels. Keep running. Keep running. What? What was that set? Chat? Chat, what was the sound of the big red rubber ball? You guys fucking heard that, right? I'm not fucking crazy. There was a big red rubber ball sound right behind me. Alien Joe has rubber shoes for stealth. Oh, good. Good to know about alien. Good old alien Joe. Hey, Peter. Look at me. I'm an extraterrestrial. Hey, Peter. You hear about this, uh... Voice out there in the void. Fucked up, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Peter, you hear about this shit? Brendan, summon an alien. Brendan, I want to see aliens. Brendan, Brendan this, Brendan that. Can't even enjoy a simple time out in the woods. You want a fucking alien to pop up and go, <laughs> It'll happen, it'll happen. Don't worry. You know, keep your shoes on. There's not going to be a fucking alien. Brendan, do fent with the alien. Stop telling me to do fentanyl with the alien. Need my intergalactic fentanyl slime, and I need it now. Wow. Do Quaaludes with an alien. Do Ibuprofen with a gray alien. Brendan, come on. All I want to do is see you do Ibuprofen with a gray alien. Do peyote with a gnome. I'm not going to do peyote with a gnome. Stop it. Brendan, come on. You're not fun anymore. St Just do drugs with creatures. I don't want to. Hello, door. Fuck off, door. We hate you, door. I may have some videos. I have an old folder I haven't cleared out in a while that has some videos in it that I can put in there. Give me, give me just a minute to do some um, dubious goofing here. Now, what if we just leave this looping? Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Available at Walgreens. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply What if we just leave this looping? Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Available at Walgreens. Now we're talking. Makers of Head On. Introducing Activon. Activon. What the fuck? This is like watching the Bionicle movie. This is so fucking epic. This is so fucking epic. This is so- Dude, look at how fucking epic this fight is. This is so fucking epic. What is it? This is Skibbity Toilet Multiverse. Is that a little yummy mushroom? Mine. Was that a little treat for me? Oh boy. Finally. I'm living that, uh, what is it? That Paleolithic diet. I see a little- cr I see a little creature, I eat it. I see a little mushroom, I fucking eat it. On that Paleolithic diet, dude. If me fucking hungry, me gotta fucking eat. Those are the rules, laws of the jungle. If me fucking hungry, me gotta fucking eat. They're all good. How are is our radio tower? It's of course it's fucking disconnected. God damn it! Alien be doing fucking fat parkour up there. Yep. This guy's getting real dark. Storms are coming. There's that fucking door. Yep, storms are coming. I can tell. The old knees are hurting. That's how I can tell the storms are coming. Everything fine from up here. Lake's looking good. Oh, I don't like... Why is it so dark? Oh. Oh, no! That ain't right, boys. That's not a storm, boys. I'm out here with it. Well, it's gonna have to climb a fucking ladder. My eyes go ouchy when I'm in the void, yeah. What is this shit like the Langoliers? Of course I'm fucked. They brought the Langoliers out here. There's me, the radio tower, and the nothing. Well. Time to sit down a spell. 
Just me and the nothing out here. You know how it be. Did you bring a light? I did bring a light. But, uh... All I can see out here is the infinite darkness. Well, I have my chair. You gotta go down to see if anything's there. Come on. Nope. Ain't getting out of this chair. No, sir. Ain't gonna get out of this chair. No, sir. I'm not falling for that kind of thing. I, uh... I'm out here in my chair. You know what's nice about being in the chair? Scary things gotta come to me. Yeah, what's your offer? There may be a crazy creature out there, but... Ain't getting out of this chair. No, sir. Hopefully the sky don't open. And, uh... There are eyes up there. That'd be real nice. But, uh, no, sir. Ain't getting out of this chair. Nope. I don't care what kind of weird sounds are out there. I'm up here on the radio tower. Ain't getting out of this chair. No, sir. I do not feel like it. I don't want to. Ain't getting out of this chair. No, sir. I could get out of the chair. I could explore the dark deep. But I am not an explorer. I'm a scientist. I got signals. And I ain't getting out of this chair. Much funnier to me to stay in this chair this whole time. Waiting for the darkness to go away. Because I don't want to get out of this chair. No, sir. Some people want to get out of their chair. Go and explore the black fog. Nope. That inky welly fog. Not for me. Ain't getting out of this chair. Well, got a job to do. Better, uh, get out of the chair. <sighs> okay, I gotta get out of the chair. Okay, can't, can't pause. Oh, never mind. Hey! I was gonna go down there. We're fine. Looks like the, uh, the evil fog went away. Like that nice. Good thing I never got out of my chair. Now remember, if you're going to be out there in the inky darkness of the void, remember these safety tips. Stay in your chair. Don't get out of your chair. Don't get out of your chair. Remember to stay in your chair. If you leave your chair, you die. No, sir. Don't be like those fools getting out of their chair. I, I know better than that. I know the fine I know the three rules. Ain't hey, getting out of this chair. Remember the three famous rules of not getting out of your chair. Step one, don't get out of your chair. Step two, don't get out of your chair. So what do we do up here? Oh! Why was there a bomb in there? Oop. Uh. Oh no! Ride the wave! Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh no! It's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's so fucking horrible. Does it ever stop? There's a note there? Oh, okay. I didn't see. I, all I saw was edible bug. Oh, there it is. Use. Taking a note for whoever reading this, saw that one figure standing next to the concrete pole could not get a good look. My eyes were blurred from the lack of sleep. Maybe hallucination. Who knows? Keep your eye on this. Came out investigating the place. Saw footprints at the exact same place where the figure was last night. I do not feel safe here. I want to leave. I feel safe here. I feel great here, so. This is a you thing, maybe, buddy. I got so many, so much bug protein. I mean, you did get femur blasted, so. Yeah.